What up, fam? It's your boy G. Ridge. As you can see, I have like two four to five pound roast. Mm, mm, mm. It's going down. So we're going to take this roast beef and we're going to cook it in the roaster. I'm going to season it with some roast beef seasoning, brown gravy, some seasoning, salt, black pepper. Uh, and you don't see onion powder and Lipton onion soup mix in the on the first feed, but I'm going to use that. And of course, water. OK, I got the oven, the roast oven starting off on 400 and sorry. Um, yes, 450 degrees. OK, and then I'm going to gradually turn it down as it cook on because I don't want to cook it too fast, fam, where, where the meat get tough and hard and stuff. No, we want it nice and tender and juicy. And a little thick with the gravy, okay? It's going down today, fam. Hope y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. Mm, mm, mm. You already know I'm going to cook Corey his greens. Got to cook my sun greens. Um, We also have plenty of ribs and chicken left over from last night. We had a good time last night that we're going to add to this meal. Also, um, I think uh, Risa, no, I think my daughter Janae is coming over to make some cornbread for Risa. Um, hey, I don't do cornbread. Um. Let me see. Uh, we have some sweet potato pies that Risa made. And, uh, I'm, of course, I'm taking care of the rest. All right? It's going down. As you can see, I had in the bottom of the pan of some onions. And I put some gravy, mix, brown gravy mix down there. But I also, what you didn't see, I put some uh, avoc avocado oil in the pan first. Okay? So I had to take the meat back out and then season the meat up. As you can see, I'm going to season both sides. With the, uh, what I told you I was going to season it with. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to rub it into the bottom of the pan. And then we're going to add the water to it. I had four, I added four cups of water. And then gradually I added about three to four more cups of water. Because you don't want, I want to, and I'm also, sorry, I'm also going to add, put um, carrots and potatoes in it as well. I got them soaking on the side. I'm going to pour the water out after I get when I'm ready for them. And I'm going to put them in the roaster pan along with everything else. Once I get the water and stuff in there, I'm going to throw the onions, the rest of the onions and bell peppers on top. It's going down. It's going to marinate. Oh, we. It's going to cook together. And it took about, um, let's see, about three. Yep, about three, three and a half hours. Because you want it. Look, man, you want that thing to come out tender. You don't want, because that beef... And, and you know, with it being that thick, and with that, I'm telling you, it's, it's going to take a, uh, uh, you got to have a little patience. Look at that. That looks delicious already. Uh, uh, uh. So anyway, we're going to keep moving. Uh, sir, look at that. It's getting ready to go in. So um, now I'm going to add the Lipton onion soup mix. Yeah, boy. Ooh, wee. That right there set it off. That was the last uh, final ingredient that set it off, fam. Mm, mm, mm. As you can see, I got the roasted oven on 450. There's the greens. Mm, mm. Nice and simple. Okay, it's about three fourths done, so I'm going to go ahead and cut them. As a matter of fact, about 60% now I'm going to cut. You can see how still tough the roast beef is. So I cut them all up. Yeah. Like you can cut them all up and turn it into stew beef if you want to. Whatever you floats your boat, okay? So I'm going to let it cook about uh, another two hours, okay? And then you'll see it when I come back towards the end. But it came out perfect. As you can see, you seen the thumbnail. I'm telling you, fam. Stick with your boy. We're going to pick up some, you know, I try to get somebody to pick up a little easy, little, uh, easy way to cook certain foods and stuff out here. Like I said, I'm no chef, man, but I like to eat. So in order to eat, I like, I, go, I had to learn to, um, to cook for myself. And um, I'm getting better and better and better at it. And, um, Hey, you can follow follow these recipe and make it your own. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do exactly like me, but if you want this flavor that I, that I taste <laughs> in this uh, gravy and in, in this beef that I made, man, then follow it to a T. It's simple. It can be so simple. Okay, it's getting closer towards the end. I'm gonna see my plate. I'm gonna give you a finished look real quick. Look at that, fam. Uh, 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 uh. It's almost there. That's the extended look of there. Yeah, sir. Here's my finished look. Bam! Mama, there goes that man. Oh, M to the G. Mm, mm, mm. I love y'all to life. G Rich out. In your mouth. Bye, family. Enjoy this one, because I sure am. Peace.